Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let Me Judge. Today's battle is between Spinazzola versus La Rosa. I hope I pronounced that right. This is from Burning Gate 2017. Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Flefield and welcome back to the channel. Or if this is your first time or if you are that guy or girl watching without being a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. I post calisthenic related stuff. During these past two, three months, I've been doing mostly reaction videos, let me judge videos, but I'm gonna start with tutorials again. I have some tutorials for those who don't know. I will link the playlist down below in the description. Tutorials about calisthenic freestyle. My most popular one with over, I think 60,000 views is the Swing 360. If you wanna watch that tutorial, click here. This is a battle you guys have been commenting a lot. I have my popcorn ready, I have my drink ready. Because you said this is a crazy battle. This is from 2017, so it's three years ago. I've heard some crazy stuff about Spinazzola and I've seen some of his videos. Before I hit that play button, I just want to say that I have a preset on how to start training calisthenic freestyle. It's an ebook covering everything you need to know if you are starting out with calisthenic freestyle. What to start with, the requirements, how to work on them, how to overcome fear, how to keep your motivation when the trainings are going bad, and much more. This is the only ebook or the only book that you need for calisthenic freestyle if you are just starting out. This is not for the advanced people. This is for the people who are just starting out with the dynamics, dynamics in calisthenic freestyle. And I forgot to tell you guys that this book has over 50 pages. It's a lot of knowledge in one book. The original price for this book is gonna be $9, but for the pre-sale until end of May, because I'm releasing the book this month, then the price is gonna be $7.99. You go to calisthenicfreestyle.com, I will leave the link to the book down below in the description. Go there, order your and then just wait until I release it. Now to the video, let's go. Wait, what? That's Spinazol. This video hasn't started really, like the battle. What has he on his ankles? Is it weight? Wait, does La Rosa also have the ankle weight? Okay, he's starting out. One arm muscle up. With what? With the weights? Impossible dip on straight bar. One arm put what? Another one. Wait, this? I don't know if I should take this seriously. What is happening? Is it the show? Like, this is the first time in ever I've seen somebody use weights on their ankles during a competition. Spinozola, are you you're, you're crazy? What are you doing? Can somebody explain why he has those weights? Hefesto! One more! I don't know what to say. This guy, Spinosol, this is the first time I see him copy. I've seen some videos on his YouTube channel and also on his IG. He's crazy. I think I would do a video about him, whole video about me reacting to his video. Let me know if you would like to watch that. But who decides to have ankle weights in a competition? Most athletes, they decide to have no legs, legs like this and they decide to take off their shoes to be as light as possible, to be able to hold those statics better and everything. But this guy, he's like, no, you know what? I have Converse, I think it was Converse, and then I have ankle weight. And those ankle weights looks like it was at least two, three kilos on each leg. If you know how many kilos those are, please, please comment down below. Full plank on straight bar, nice. Push, okay, that's sexy. Flying up. Two 
back, leave it not so clean. Oh shit, let's go! That was pretty good. It's the first thing I want to mention for the full plans, this grip and not this grip and doing push-ups. You and me are doing normal push-ups on the floor. That's the one crazy thing. But yeah, let's uh, let's see what Spinosaur will do with his crazy ankle weights. Okay, he's not he's not having ankle weights now. Oh! Wait, what is this? Let's go! That, this is the first time I see something that in the rings. I don't know what this is, sideways iron cross. And just look at the freaking biceps and elbows. Bend the, the other way. And he's holding it for so long. And one more time! Oh, blah, blah, blah. One more! Oh! No! What are... Look at the crowd, they are dead! What is this? They are like... How can you be like that when somebody's doing an iron cross side up, iron cross three times? It's not normal! It's like Gage when he was doing that handstand press from the bottom up... <laughs> What? Back even pull-ups in rings. Okay, so the, the, the round is just crazy. If I am, I'm gonna do the two second rule, some of the stuff wasn't held for two seconds, it was still crazy. And now he took off the ankle weights. I think it was for the better. If he had ankle weights while doing the iron cross, because that's crazy. It's, it's just crazy. I know the human body is capable of doing a lot if you just put your mind to it. Is it with both hands or no one hand? Okay. So that V sit, I love it. Full flash hole. Impossible dip. Oh his one arm was almost better than his full nice nice okay i think the round the battle is over and the music is like really getting you excited it's like dun, 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 dun. i couldn't take it really seriously from the beginning when he had ankle weights because i don't know how how do you put points on that but yeah of course doing a normal hefesto and hefesto with ankle weights might get you more points but that hefesto wasn't so clean the one arm wasn't clean but i think he it seems like spinosaur want to show something that nobody's doing he just want to do the craziest variation of stuff and i respect that I really do. He's doing his own thing. Well, if I need to choose one style, if Spinosol have done something else in the first round, even if that was crazy, if he done without it, clean and everything, I, I think I, I would have voted for Spinosol. But this time I vote for La Rosa. I think he will win. Wait, are, are they not going to show? What? Oh, you, you you can't post like Umberto Meleto. Oh shit, big channel. 486k. You can't post a video without the result. Who won? Now, I don't understand who won. If you know who won, let me know down below in the comments. I voted this time for La Rosa. But I think I would do a whole video about Spinosol reacting to his stuff. If you want me to do that, leave a comment down below. And also, before we move on to the mini reaction, hit that like button because it helps the channel grow even more. Keeps me motivated to do these videos more and more, even if I enjoy them a lot. 
It's also nice to see that more people get to these videos, see these videos and enjoy them as well. And if you have watched this far, I want to give you something. The ebook that is on pre-sale for $7.99. If you use the code FREESTYLE10, you'll get 10% off that price as well. It's only valid for the 100 first people that uses the code. And I'm giving you this just because you have watched this far. Now it's time for the mini reaction. And I have a guy who commented his name is Niv Beckerman and he is a Gornation athlete. Clash and handstand love. Nice. Achi, achi, let's go, achi! Full plash, press on straight bar and holding that to straddle. Nice! Oh, it's not done. No way, no way! Did he hold that with one? He held that with one freaking elbow. Damn! Man, respect that control that you have. Wow, I'm jealous in a good way. I'm jealous in a good way. Handstand, handstand. Nice! No way, he's turning as well. This is freaking sexy. So clean. Poor power. Why haven't I seen this guy compete in something? That turn. Doing that one arm handstand on a straight bar and then turning slow and steady. Man, that was freaking. When I say sexy, I mean that like so freaking beautiful. Some people say beautiful, some say I, I sexy, but this was crazy. Sex. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Man, what is this control? Jesus, damn! Like the Swedes would say, that a gullet. Okay, that was something else, the control. This was beautiful, this was sex, this was crazy. Man. Big respect. Guys, you know what? This guy deserves my follow. Even if he doesn't follow me on Instagram, I will also send him a message. Okay, that last guy was crazy. To be honest, that for me, the mini reaction was crazier than the battle itself. Even if Spinoza was crazy. But this, the beautiful control, damn. Okay, for those who have been watching this far, now you can help me. Let me know what other battles I should react to. Leave them down below in the comments and also leave your Instagram if you want me to react to your channel. You don't need to be as crazy as this guy. I can still react to you. I'm just choosing from the comments. So make sure to comment down below. And also hit that like button if you want to support the channel and make sure to subscribe if you have been watching this far. Because I don't know, are you stuck in my channel without being a subscriber? And if you want to support my channel, even more and if you are new to Dynamics Calisthenic Freestyle go to the link down below to the website get that ebook that I'm gonna release this month and I will see you in the next video